Morning RC fam. What's up everybody? It's the entrance to my little man cave I got going on, my hobby shop, whatever you want to call it. Give you a look around first. Stuff everywhere. Boats, cars, workspaces, planes, helicopters, you name it, we got it. All right, so I'm going to go through, give you a tour. I'm going to start from the beginning. That is the Bowlink Pro Classic Digger. 1969, 1970, somewhere around there. Not exactly sure. And NSR 500. It's my dual rider. Another vintage Bowlink. That is the Invader. Came out in, I would say, have to say, 84, 85, somewhere around there. Nice road car. My little workspace I got going on. Many bowling parts. I actually refer to this as Bowling Corner. This is where I keep all the bowlings. I love them all. Secret project I'm working on. Gonna be bad when it's done. That's a Bolink uh, Invader off road that I've modified to street. There's a Invader MT monster truck, other Invader, other Invader. There's a Bolink round tracker, Bolink uh, late model, other late model. There's a Bolink Bandito that I actually built. Never bought a kit. Built it from pictures and parts that I actually had collected. If you could see, I got almost every bowling part you could possibly imagine. I got bowling parts everywhere. Actually love these cars. There's the little Rebel Digger. This might be the oldest one. This is like a 77, 79. It's actually the Jerobi. One of the first uh, on-road cars they were actually started making and uh, we have a 2000 see i got some schematics old bowling schematics you can tell by the papers are all tinged uh, okay this is a super digger came out maybe 71 72 it's got a big mono shock in the back i don't know if you can see that through there oh yeah you can see that it's good there's another round tracker. There's another custom built I do. Uh, it's a Maya front bumper. It's got a nice back wing. I run this one regularly. I actually put up videos of this Corvette. I'm going to speed test this. I'm not sure when. All right, let's move on. Let's just get a good shot of all the bowlings there. Bowling corner. Uh, we'll move on to the military stuff. Henlong 116 Russian T90 tank shoots those uh little uh yellow airsoft bbs xr311 to maya uh jeep i seen online i don't know b36 b16 this is a, a fei fy003 or something shit like that i'm not sure these are my uh rtr boats ready to run there's a traxxas blast udi5 rage super cat Rage Black Marlin, not stock anymore. I modified it. I put a brushless system in there. Runs on 3S. There's the Stealth Wake. Okay, let's move on to some cars. There's a TTO2, RMO1, TLO1, TTO1. That's a TTO1. A TTO2, TTO1, and of course my vintage El Camino Radio Shack. My little lowrider. Love that thing. Got that when I was a kid also. And we got the giant train set. 100 feet of track. DCC operation. Built all this stuff myself. Let's see. Let's get down in here. You can see my TV in there. Actually works. Look at that. Very cool. My little farm. Get a close look at the farm. The city. Got a rig going through there, a little city. 
There's Christine. There's the Blues Brothers Mobile. Look at that. And we got Starsky and Hutch in front of the police station. We got the A-Team. There's Mad Max's car. Pretty cool. Fuller car system. Totally integrated. Little yellow truck drives around the city all by himself. And of course, I got the Fuller car system on top, too. I got a couple of cars and a couple of trucks that drive around the whole city. My little truck depot, firehouse, of course, train with a fire fire engine on the train there. Not bad, little train station, all my little people waiting to get on. Okay, back to the RCs. Of course, that's a WPL D12. Modified it a little bit, put some Tamiya wheels on there, jacked it up. Looks like a gasser. There's a TTO one. I put up a video the other day. Of the TTO one. I like these things. They're really cool. They look good. There's a Sakura Zero 3.5 turn. Run that on 2S or 3S. Super fast. Got to speed test that too. I just got the GNSS in. I'm going to do that. TA04 MSTO RMX. This is the drift car. Let's get a little turn of the steering so you can see how much that steering turns. Look at that. Full tilt boogie. Okay, we got the Tamiya King Hauler with the trailer. Oh, there's another boat. Another RTR FT16. Really fast. Well, it's not that fast. It's It runs good. Okay, we got the TTO2 racing truck. TLO1 Subaru SRT. CCO1 Jeep Wrangler, CCO1 Ford Bronco, Midnight Pumpkin, and the lunchbox, of course. Modified the shocks and everything. Love that lunchbox. Runs really good. Uh, there's the trailer I made for the Rage Super Cat. Special trailer for a catamaran. Uh, there's a plane. Very cool. Voluntex plane. Runs good. Flew it once. Didn't crash it. Still intact. Okay. Moving on. Move over to here. Traxxas Stampede. Tamaya Monster Beetle. Patera Ascender. Red Cat. Nitro. Special tuned pipe on there. Two speed. Short course. Love that truck. It's an animal. And there's a couple of vintage Radio Shack cars that I'm actually working on this Road Phantom here. I'm going to get that going. TRX Impersonator. Not bad. Runs good. And, of course, Tamiya Blackfoot. There's the Earnhardt Go-Kart. There's a FY03 Desert Eagle. That I turned into an ATV. This is my most recent purchase. WPL 144001. And there's my little WPL tow truck. And there's a couple of random other things down there. And you got a MN40 I believe. And a Jeep. I seen online. It was like 50 bucks. A little crawler. It's cute. Okay. Moving right around. Oh, this is a custom-built boat trailer I made. Carries most of the boats. Okay, let's move over to the boats. These are my custom-built boats. This is an Academy 540 Baltic Cruiser. This is the IMEX Taurus that I turned into a magnet fisher. You see the magnet on the back. It's got the cross winch. Went out of my way to get the cross winch because, if you, you know, you don't have a good winch, then you really got a good winching boat. This is a, a Crick Kacha, German RC boat. Really like it. Custom built. A little guy in there. The actual seats come out. They pull up out of there so you can get to everything in the bottom. It's another Academy Royal Cruiser. I have videos of this online. Got my little driver on there. Royal Cruiser is really nice. It's fast. It's got a an outrunner in there. 
run that on 3s does about 50 miles an hour yeah here's the atlantic boat that i modified got lights on there run that on 4s 2000 kv i think does about 40 or 50 i'm not sure this is my most recent build not done building it yet this is the 1971 wetico christina and moving down seamaster 2 back hatch opens third channel op this is an actual original pro series racing boat back hatch also opens on third third channel operation got the stig sitting in there waiting for waiting to go for a drive okay some of the boats okay let's move over to kelly's pub it's my bar i call this the armor bar there's my felony 3s 6s actually took it for a run the other day super quick gonna gnss that got the gns sitting there right and waiting to go on there there's a typhon i ordered the uh brushless setup for this Gonna run it on 6S also. Got the batteries awaiting. Okay, there's another boat trailer up there. Let's move over to the drag section. This is a team broke drag chassis. SARC custom wheels. I don't know if you can see those wheels, but those wheels are beautiful, man. I love these wheels on this car. I'm gonna set that up and hook it up pretty soon. There's a couple of chassis. There's a Loshi triple xs waiting for a belt for that and of course we got the dr10 this is a vintage parma pro stock very cool and this is another bowling it should actually be over in bowling corner but it's a drag car it's my street stock drag car like that and you got the top fuel bowling again and there's two more bowling funny cars down there why I go with Bowlink, I had them for a long time. They're old. I recently put a new body on this one. Painted it nice. It's also got some SARC custom wheels on there. Okay, moving right along. This is one of the little projects I'm working on. I seen the Sen Racing Fiat the other day. And I thought it was really cool. So I took my GFO1 chassis. And I put this little uh, Mini Cooper body on there. And uh, I got to mount it yet, but I think it's going to come out pretty good. I think I want to paint the chassis and the wheels. This way it all matches up. Okay, let's go over to the buggy rack. RC10. Kyosho Scorpion. Tamiya Rough Rider. Custom Tamiya Sand Scorcher. To my holiday buggy, fast attack vehicle, frog, Subaru Brat, and you got the MRC Hammerhead. Love that thing. Put some videos up of these cars not too long ago. Okay, moving right along. These are the kit boats that I bought a long time ago. Excalibur 40 Hawk. This is an offshore racer. I don't remember the, the brand it was back in the day, but this is the music section. Of course, there goes my Monterey Pop, Jimi Hendrix edition, Fender. Love that guitar. It cost me like a thousand bucks. Okay, there's some more boats. GP Marine Stinger. And there's the Phantom. Nice cat. Can't tell it's a cat, but you can see the two points. Okay, I think that's a full tour around the room. Okay, we've got the armors, we've got the drag cars. Oh, forgot about this one. Another drift car, HPI RS4. Okay. If anybody sees anything that they actually want me to make a video of or they want to see in action, except for those two up there, those will never be in action, give me a message in the in the section below, you know, leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see.
and I'll be sure to uh, put a video up. Try to get a nice running video for you. Oh, I forgot about the excavator with the grabby claw. He likes to load logs onto the trailer. I think I got a video up of that too. Not too sure. Made so many videos. Oh, this is my man cave. My dartboard, of course. Gotta have a dartboard and a bar. Of course, there's a TV behind the bar. And you got a bunch of uh, Hot Wheels, Star Wars... Stuff. I love to collect these things. I don't know why. I think there's one thing I did not show you guys. A couple of drones that I have. That's the Star Trek Enterprise. And this uh, this is Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. Pick it up. Goes on. Starts playing the theme. Really cool. That thing is awesome. Not bad, right? All right, let's shut that up. Okay, just drop the cover on it, it goes off. Pretty cool. Okay, this is all the stuff I have on display. I got a lot of other cars that are in the boxes and didn't build yet, mostly Tamiya's. And most of them are doubles of what I have already. Some of them aren't, but that could be for another tour and another day. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a good day.